Hi everybody, welcome to Sex to Sack. My name's Caitlin, and today we're going to be working on etiolated succulents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a succulent that has actually burnt up a bit under my grow light. So as you can see, we have a couple different examples for you for etiolated ones. So if we take a look right here, we have a uh, Echeveria Malaco, and this one is very beautiful. I've had it for about a year, and it's just etiolated. So I first had it outside in the summer, last summer, and then I brought it inside, and then after I brought it inside, I put it, well actually it was in my in my garage and then after the garage it went inside of my grow tent so it's had a lot of stress but I have been putting it underneath the grow lights but for some reason it still just hasn't spread out like I would want it to if you look at the leaves it's kind of, they're kind of bending downwards and things like that that means they're kind of this was looking for light at some point so what I'm gonna do today after I show you all of them is I'm going to chop the heads off take some leaves for propagation and go ahead and see in a month if any any babies grow off the stem so this is what was the Echeveria Malaco. Next is going to be my Pearl von Nornberg. So in my Pearl von Nornberg, I've had this also since this, about this summer and it just, it hasn't been very happy. Um, the top looks gorgeous, but the top has grown since I've had my grow tent, but the bottom leaves are kind of doing the same thing where they didn't have enough light so they are now growing downwards and they're, it's just not happy so what I'm going to do and I mean this some people may like this look you know not this but some people like me like this Pearl von Nuremberg you know stretching out and stuff like that but usually they're more of a compact Echeveria so we're going to chop the head off and do the same thing. This is one of my, I believe, lilac mists. It's kind of interesting because it's pretty heavy. Like these leaves are really thick. They're, um, I believe it did grow some flower blooms, but after it grew the flower blooms, they just, it just, it's toppling over so it's not looking its best it's kind of this way it's not you know the bottom leaves aren't that great so I'm thinking I'm also going to chop this to see if we could propagate some more babies but there's an interesting thing that's going on right here at the top it may not be part of the actual planet may be a bloom so it might have bloomed out to be honest so if that's the case then this is a goner anyways because if succulents do bloom out like at the top and the and like say the middle goes out then it's um it's bye bye it's completely gonna just die so you want to propagate all the leaves you want to chop it do whatever you can to save what you can from the plant this guy is my pack of phytum moon silver and gosh ever since this one bloomed it has not been happy so I'm just kind of sad and I'm sick of looking at it so I mean, it's still gorgeous. It's a beautiful, you know, succulent, but the leaves are so just completely flimsy and just not my favorite. And it just doesn't look pretty. It's just wrinkled. So I'm going to chop it, see if I can save some leaves. If I can't, oh well. But I'm going to see if I could chop the middle and regrow it. So I did want to say that, you know, it's springtime. Well, Supposedly. I don't know if you could see outside it's raining and it's kind of 
cold here, but it is springtime, so they're beginning to come out of dormancy, uh, echeverias, and many other types of succulents. So this is the time to go ahead and start propagating, to start chopping off those heads. They're going to regrow. They're going to um, chopping off heads of the flowers, just letting you know that because, yes. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so this one, my Echeveria Christi in Ryan. Oh my gosh. It's sad. It never really grew all winter. Um, I had it, of course, outside during the summer, then inside of my uh, garage, and now in my grow tent. And I had it, I thought, oh my gosh, well maybe it needs, maybe it needs more, more light. So I put it up closer to the grow light and it just fried most of this area. So I am kind of sad, but at the same time, we can propagate them and see if more babies will grow. So come along. You want a knife that is sterilized. So I sterilize this knife or this little blade with alcohol. You don't want any sort of bacteria. Let me just do it one more time. See, I'm just spraying alcohol on this just to kind of clean it off. Yeah, just be careful. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is chop the hair. I'm going to go ahead and chop this Echeveria Malaco, taking off the leaves. I'll take off the leaves because it leaves some nodes and the nodes are where the roots grow. That seemed like a nice clean chop. Then after that I'm going to propagate some leaves. Hopefully some babies grow off the leaves nice clean cut next we're gonna go ahead and work on the Pearl von Nornberg PVN so they say go ahead and take off some leaves make a clean cut and hopefully some babies will grow off from that stem Taking off some leaves for the nodes to grow some roots. And go ahead and put those little baby leaves in the pot to see if they might grow some babies. Same with that very Malacco. Don't forget the leaves. My lilac mist. This girl, little girl is super long and need some help. So I'm gonna go ahead and help her. I'm gonna take off some leaves to chop her head. It looks as if the, you know, the top might be a bloom, but who knows. We'll go ahead and take off some more leaves for some, you guessed it, roots. Hopefully those will propagate, you never know. Some of them are quite mushy. Next is the Pacophytum Moon Silver. That's a little babe that grew on the side. I hope it will grow. Next, you know, this Moon Silver is quite mushy. And I don't think that this is gonna make it. But I'm gonna try. Everything deserves a life. So I'm gonna propagate those leaves even though they're very mushy and squishy and wrinkled. I'm going to go ahead and chop the head. Nice clean cut. They're wrinkled. My next one 
Etcheberry, Chrissy, and Ryan. This poor girl was burned to a crisp. And as you can tell, not sure if they'll survive. So crispy. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, guys. Well, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and pop these little babies up, see how they do, and we'll, I'll show you the end product.